This is my Windows 11 taskbar. A way mess with the taskbar at all is the default one just works fine. Well, for me, it's all about aesthetics. I wanted a taskbar that only shows what I actually care about. The time, my workspaces, and the apps I'm using. Nothing else. Not even the tray icons. But I'll get to that later. Because now, I'm gonna show you how I build the setup so you can have it as well. So let's start by hiding the taskbar because it's not here. To do this, I have this application called Start All Back. And I use it because not only helps me to hide the taskbar, which you can do in the settings, but also because you can choose in which position do you want the taskbar. So in my case, I have it in the right. So if I press the Windows key, you'll see it's in this side of the screen. So the only things I change here are the taskbar location and the automatic hiding. That's it. And I don't have the taskbar on the bottom because I don't like moving my mouse accidentally then seeing the taskbar appear. And you can also use a mod from Windhog to move the position of the taskbar. But the downside with this is that the option to automatically hide the taskbar isn't supported. So that means that the taskbar will stay here all the time. But what about the try icons? Honestly, since I don't really use them, I just press the Windows key and I have them all right here. And these are some useful shortcuts that I use so I don't have to open the taskbar all the time. The first one is to open the task manager, so I just press the Windows key plus X and then the T. And you have the task manager and then you can press Ctrl T and start looking for whatever app you want. You can also use Control alt delete and the difference is that it shows you a list of some other things. The other shortcut that I use is Windows key plus E so you can open the file explorer. The last shortcut that I use is Windows Control V to open up the sound output to choose your speakers but also to use the volume mixer and change the volume of every single app you're using. Okay, so now we don't have the taskbar, but what are all these icons? Okay, so for the dog, I'm using my dog finder. This just replaces the icons from the original taskbar. And yeah, it's just like the Mac OS dock. You can find it on Steam for $5. If you want some free alternatives, you have Rocket Dock or Nexus. And I don't know why, but every time I turn on my PC, there's like three icons here and I have to remove them manually. So if any of you fix this problem, please let me know because I don't know how to fix it. But anyways, if you want the same settings that I have, just right click on any icon you have, then program menu and preferences. First, you have enable my finder, which is like a taskbar but I don't use it because I only want the icons. You also have a launchpad, a stage manager, but I don't use them. In general, these are all my settings. You can just copy them. Then in appearance, I have this option enabled. And then these are all my settings. I have everything disabled here. Then we have window animation. You can enable this, which doesn't look bad, honestly. So for example, I think if I open this up, well, it should change the animation. It only happens if you open something. So I'm just going to try this. No, I don't know why it didn't work but it works. Okay, I'm gonna disable this because I don't use this. Then you also have enable window close animation and you have different options. I think this one works. Yeah, it works. And this is the setting that I have. And I change the speed to 1.25. Then we go to look and behavior, this, the size, and I have this effect. So every time I move my mouse, there's this highlight right here. You also have scaling, for example. It doesn't work because I have to change this. But if I change it, it makes this effect. Then I didn't change anything here. Well, I changed the position. The distance just a little bit. So it's not really on the top, like right here. I just changed it a little bit. Launchpad, I don't use it. Then on advanced, the high quality icon rendering disabled. I have this enabled. These are the icons that I use. You can also have like the light mode icons, but I don't like them. So I just change them to this one. Then I enable this option because all the icons that you see right here are the applications that I'm currently using. So for example, if I close Spotify, the icon should go. It took a while, but it disappeared. I have this fade away effect when I hide the dock. And then I have auto dock hide with this option. So every time I press control F8, like right here, the dock disappears. And I do this because when you have something full screen, uh, the dock will still appear. So I just have to press this shortcut and it will disappear. Then on minimize effects, these are all my settings. Window previews, I have them enabled. And that's almost everything uh, from the dock. And I didn't change anything here because I don't use my finder. And now I'm gonna show you how to change the icons because you won't have this icon for the Explorer. And if you wanna change it, it's really easy. And I'm gonna leave all the resources in my description so you can just download them. To change an icon, just right click, for example, Vivaldi, because I don't like the orange logo. So go to edit this icon. And now to change the icon, just drag the image you want. For example, let's say I wanna use this one. I'm just gonna drag it here and it will change, but I'm gonna keep this one. Hit OK and that's it. But if you wanna change the Explorer icon, you can do that. So to do it, just right click whatever icon you want, program menu and workshop. And here, create a new theme. 
just name it however you want and now in this menu you'll be able to change that icon for example let's say i want to use this one so let's say you want to change the folder and explorer icon which i did just drag them right here and for some reason it doesn't work so i'm just gonna click here and then select the icon okay it works so do the same here click it select the icon okay and that's it you don't even have to save this just close it then right click program menu workshop again and select the theme that you want then you close it and that's it and this clock that you see right here this is not the default one so if i right click here go to default this is how the default clock looks and if you want this one i'm just gonna leave everything in the description and i think it should work with only that folder so once you download it go to your my dog finder folder by the way i haven't posted this watch face on the workshop because I don't know how to do it so if anyone knows let me know down in the comments so i can upload it and you can install it way easier but now go to the themes folder and once you put the folder right here you should be able to change the watch face so right click it and you should have the option to choose the watch face but if this doesn't work i'm gonna show you how i did it from scratch which is very easy okay to do that go to steam and in your library go to my dog finder and then go to the community hub now click on workshop and look for flip clock and if you can't find this one just go on home and look for another one once you click on subscribe now go back to your dog finder folder and here's the watch face so what i did is to duplicate this one and then once you do that go to my folder copy all the files then go back go to flip clock or whatever web face you downloaded and paste all the files here after that right click on the clock and you should be able to select the clock and if you want to change the font or the color from this one just go to the folder go to clock and then here you have these two images one is for light mode and the other one is for dark mode which is this one so to change the color just use something like photoshop gimp canva and now if you want to change the time for example because you don't like the 24 hour format you need to go here where it says format and change this to hh battle lower case so save this and if you change the watch face it should work yeah there it is and here you also have the font that i'm using so if you don't have this one just go and download it because the watch is not gonna work you can also choose another one if you want to but wait because now i have the time right here but also here so what's this this is yasp it's an alternative to the Windows taskbar, but I only use it to display the time and also see my workspaces because I use Italian Window Manager. I talk about it more in depth in my first video, so if you want to check it out, I will leave it in the description. But basically, the workspaces allow you to have like multiple virtual screens. So I have my first workspace here, then I can go to the second one where I have my Notion with the script. Then I go to the third one where I have this folder and you can create many to organize all your windows. Oh, but I forget about this clock, so I'm just gonna remove it, okay? I don't use it anymore. I feel like the icon is small and hard to read. And the only way to make it bigger is to increase the dock size. And I don't wanna do it because it will take more space of the taskbar. And also because I prefer to see the full date with the day and month. But I know a lot of people ask me about this, so that's why I wanted to explain it. And to change the theme, go to your tray icon right click open config keep in mind that every time you change the theme these files will get replaced so make sure to save them in a folder if you want to try some other alternatives because honestly there are way better themes but i just like to have the date and workspaces also please remember to download the JetBrains mono font from nerf fonts because the icons won't work like for example the one that i have right here and if you go down here here are all the widgets available that you can use in the taskbar and you'll see this one which is taskbar and could be used to replace this doc that I'm using but I don't use it because the icons look low quality in my 4k screen even if I make them bigger and in the 1080p screen it just looks good so that's why I still use my dog finder and if you want to change my theme here in the config folder you'll have two files a yaml file and you have a css file this one is to remove add or change anything from the widgets or the taskbar and the css is for the style of everything so let's say you want to change the height of the taskbar because you want the smaller one open the yaml file you can do this with the notepad or any other text editor and go to dimensions and height so here is on 60 so maybe you can change it to 30 like the half and now just wait for a second and now it just changed and i'm gonna keep it like it was before then you can save this and that's it and if you want to change the colors go to the css file and let's say you want to change this color of the text just go to this part and then click here and then change the color to whatever you want and it will automatically change and then you can also start changing some other things and see what works and what doesn't because i did everything with ChatGPT, okay so that's it so let me know if you like the video and if you're using any of these apps or some alternatives and if you wonder while watching the video what's that the valley icon i changed before it's my browser and i've been using it for four months now so if you want to see my settings go check it out